Hi, I'm here today to review um, Tech Edges, their multi-function workbench for little kids. Let me get the big boss. It just came in today. Look! Oh, it's so cute. It's just too cute. So we're going to dig into that. <laughs> and uh, if I can move my chair, let's see. I get the scissors out and cut my way in. Well, I should have just brought my pocket knife over. I say that every time I do a video, pretty much. All right. I got some, it said AA batteries on the box, so I got some ready. Because this does take AA batteries. All right. Oh, yay, it comes assembled. <laughs> oh, it doesn't come easier than that. It comes assembled. So this is for toddlers, obviously. It says on the box, let's read what's on the box while I cut into the thing. It says it has eight game modes. So you have a chainsaw, an electric drill, a bench clamp, a game tube, screw caps, um, like hammering nails in, shape matching game, and a number ruler. So that's the eight game modes it has. There's a little drawer for the little pieces. See, what else does it say? Music, rhyme, and flashing lights. All right. On the bottom, two AA batteries. And you'll need a screwdriver. And I brought one of those too. I'm so prepared. All right. Let's cut our way in. I love things that are put together. All right. So on this side is the um, obvious power switch. And here's that little drawer, and the pieces are in the drawer in a bag. So you have a, obviously the triangle, the circle, the heart, the actual ball, and a square. And it looks like the square has the letter C on both sides, and the heart has the letter D, and the um, circle has the B, and the triangle. Oh, it's hard to see through the bag glare. It has an A. So that goes into the drawer. I'm going to turn that upside down. And we'll put the um, batteries in and see if we can get it being loud and obnoxious. <laughs> the way little kids like it. All right. Well, that's there. not going to work. Maybe if I turn it around. No. Well, that side might work better. All right. Let's see if that will grasp it. That's not grasping it at all. Maybe it wasn't nearly as prepared as I thought. Aha, that'll do it. There we go. I'm real silent while I'm unscrewing this. <laughs> not a very exciting video. All right. Unfortunately, the screw stayed in the cap. How many times have you opened up a kid's toy and that tiny screw went flying? And then you, could, you had to get tape and then tape the... <laughs> I've done that. <laughs> this one's actually long and stays put. I like that a lot. Okay. It's a lot safer too when the little ones are grasping at you because they want their toy. All right. I've had three boys and I've got grown boys with lots of their real tools now. <laughs> they probably won't like to hear that, but it's true. Put the drawer back in. Okay. Now let's turn it on. And then what do you do to get it to play something? Okay, so you put that down. <laughs> this actually sounds like the screwdriver, like the, the circular saw. And then let's see. Oh, that's too cute. <laughs> I'm glad it's not constant noise. Here, I made it louder. Now it's on full loud. Does this do anything? Oh, oh it makes it. Oh, has an accent. <laughs> Three. Three. There you go. That sounded right. Yeah, the 
the tool off. Let's, can I hammer and hold it up at the same time? How are my skills? <laughs> oh, you can. Oh, don't you hear it? I want to hear it knock. You can hear a little tink tink. I like emulating your knocking sound. All right. Let me see if I can pull off the... Um, I'll just undo them all. If I can pull off the screwdriver. All right. And let's see, does it do anything? Well, it falls off. Maybe I should have left them attached. Okay. Okay, so it doesn't make sounds when you do the screws. Just the hammering it emulates. And inside each hole, shape hole here, the coordinating shape for the um, cube I showed you. Hi. Here's a button inside each. You can hear it. So it'll tell them the shape. Where is it? So that's interesting. So instead of circle, it says round or um, just says round. That's true because there is a ball and there is a circle shape. So they just went with round. So you still have to teach them ball and um, circle. It says round. So that is the cute little thing. Oh, I love it. And there's no little pieces. These are all, let's see, we'll play with it and pull. Nope. Solid, solid, solid. So you don't have to worry about um, little pieces because you know right, it's going to go right in their mouth. And then it's going to go in your mouth, back in their mouth, and then back in your mouth. <laughs> you remember little kids. <laughs> but you remember to clean it off after every time they play because they do put everything in their mouth. And um, you can always take the batteries out. You can't take the noise. But I didn't find it obnoxious at all. I actually like this one. This one's really cute. Mine would have loved this, my three, the three I had. It is precious. But it's going to go to a precious little baby that's on the way. That's for sure. So that's Tech Edges. Um, they're a multifunction workbench. And it has a lot of activities and it's tiny. So it'd be perfect for, um, you know, when you have to grab something that will keep their attention when you go to a friend's house, it'd be perfect for that. Um, no stickers or anything to apply or put together. So it's great for Christmas time. <laughs> if you have other kids to give a lot of presents to, I love it. I love the little toy. Oh, I don't think I did this. Let's do this. Let me turn it on. There we go. That's the one thing I didn't do. What kind of work am I if I'm not going to use the vise? Right. So it doesn't make any separate sound. just does that. Alrighty then. So just go check that out. Tech Edge on Amazon. Thanks.